Hey, Kirk here with Twin Cities Naturalist. I'm out here in the forest because I wanted to show you guys some pretty unique flowers. Now, it's the middle of the summer, or almost toward the end of the summer. We usually don't think about flowers being out in the forest this time of year, but if you look down here on the forest floor, there's actually a really unique kind of flower that you might be able to find near you. It goes by a lot of different creative common names. One name for it is Indian Pipe. It looks a little bit like a little pipe that grows up out of the ground. It's almost pure white except for a few dark spots on it. One of my personal favorites is Corpse Plant, pretty kind of a macabre name. Also is sometimes called the Ghost Flower or Ghost Plant because it just comes up and it's like this white ghost in the woods. Now in the past I've only seen you know groups of two or three or sometimes just one of these flowers coming up in the woods. This year the conditions are just right. This little patch that I'm in right here has over 400 flowers that have come up. They're you know about six to eight inches tall and they're almost completely pure white. Now, when I first learned about this plant, I was told that it was called a saprophyte. This is a plant that lacks chlorophyll. It's completely white. It gets all of its energy from uh, breaking down dead and decaying matter, much like we would think a fungus would do. Well, it turns out science kind of has changed on me here. They're no longer called saprophyte, saprophytes. Uh, but what we think is going on here is more that there's actually a fungus that is down in the ground that's breaking down organic matter and these flowers have learned how to basically steal nutrients from that fungus. So it's a pretty incredible complex relationship here. All the trees and whatnot, they are uh, also actually relying on some of these similar funguses to help get some of those nutrients out of the soil. We're learning more and more about that all the time. But these are really unique in that they're a flowering plant that doesn't have any chlorophyll because it's able to extract the nutrients it needs from that fungus in the ground and it's able to live. Fascinating plant if you can see it and sometimes clumps of two or three out there in the forest but this year it's just we have an incredible crop out here so one more cool thing to look for out there in the forest.